Hello Internet, this is the GIF character guide of House Wandry. But before we get started, let's have a look at this really great frame. The new module is about the eternal fight of the GIF against the mind frames. It is believed that the GIF were once humans that were captured by mind flayers to serve as slaves and cattle. Ready for action? Let's get started. In addition to their ability score bonus, Gears regenerate stamina 3% faster and get 5000 combat advantage. So what class do we choose for our Gith character? The high dexterity would make a good rogue. But I think we should create a great weapon fighter. Frankly, it is because of the big sword, but the abilities of Sprint, Punishing Charge, Avalanche of Steel and Battle Rage are great. At this point, we have to choose our racial ability bonus, and we can choose between Strength and Intelligence. As a great weapon fighter, Strength and Constitution are the most useful ability scores, so it's obvious we take a plus two on Strength. The tutorial has been cleaned up a lot, and that makes gameplay from level 1 to 20 more straightforward. It is really an improvement of flow, quests, and the players are getting their mount sooner. So now let's have a look at our character sheet and the inventory. We see our basic powers, uh, not very much to say about here right now, but here we see the GIF special abilities. So let's go adventuring, running around the battlefield and trying our new abilities. First, well, let's slash some skeletons. That works pretty as expected. Oh, there are another ones. Let's pick them up. Yeah. Well, I get the impression that we're doing pretty much damage as a great weapon fighter. So okay, so there's blue fire in front of us, and well, here it's a tree. But first, before we can clear this tree, we have to hack at some zombies. Are we a level two? Defeated the zombies complete. Now we have to jump, use the spacebar, even this is explained. And another bunch of zombies that is I can slay what I think I guess that is what a barbarian or a great weapon fighter is all about. Hacking at enemies. Yeah. So put your sword on your back and go on. Oh, We've unlocked our secondary attack with the right mouse button. It's, it's falling from the sky. Don't know. And there again, zombies. And now we use our secondary attack. Okay, let's see what's behind this door. Oh, it's level three. Now we need makers. So what do you have to tell me? Okay, go upstairs. Talk to makers is complete. What's he up to? Oh, wow. We can use now our spirit attack. And I misused it. Used it without enemies in Win City. Well, this is really bad, so I have to hack each of the skeletons one at a time. Okay, let's find my makers. Where are you? Oh, uh, yeah, there we 
we go we have found him and he he does some arcane ritual and we have to protect him now secondary attack and swirl attack yes that's how it's done come on we need more zombies again secondary attack swirl attack all done Here we go again, zombies approaching, secondary attack, swell attack. Oh, they come back. Uh, now we have to wait, run a bit around. Yes, swell attack kills them all. Oh, they keep coming. Let's tr see what we can do. Oh yeah, defend makers complete. Oh, this was an easy one. And once again enemies are showing up and well great weapon fighter kills them all. I get a bit tougher. And Makos is gone. We have to follow him. Oh, hello Celeste. Nice to meet you. Okay. So, let's go to difficult terrain. I've reached the bridge. Oh, now what makers do we have to do? Well, they're in trouble. We will go down there, kill them all. Let Tempus sort out. Oh, those red spots on the ground are really a problem. Uh, but the good thing is, uh, when I use the sprint power, I get immunity. Here you see I'm immune. Um, it's a little bit complicated. Uh, I, I, frankly, I, I play a great weapon fighter here the first time. And I'm not very familiar with uh, the tactics. Maybe I'm playing it more like a thief, sprinting around. Don't know how tough these guys are. Well, let's let's see. Oh yeah, zombies again. I think I could really use some th something tougher. I don't think the fire is really a problem. Mm. Well, I don't know. Those rutting zombies well, do not fall as easy as uh, the ones uh, before. Are now right into the battle. Let's see. So that we get the most out of our swirl attack. Yes. Die. What comes next? Oh, wasted. Wasted my area attack. Get out of it. Yes. Made it. And then the fire. Doesn't seem to hurt the zombies. Slay. Well, now, here, a knight. Are you a tough cookie? Well, seems so. Knight and mount. And they really have these red areas on the ground that usually mean nothing good. So, here we have a healing potion. Well, we didn't use any so far. Um, there again, zombies and rotas. But I guess there is something more dangerous behind this gate. Valindra!
now we have the boss fight and we have unlocked our daily power. I'm trying to use it, but I'm knocked back, so, so I can't use it. Try it again. Yes, now, 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 it didn't work. Now this is the daily power. Does it damage? Well, quite a lot, I guess. He's half down. Sword does some damage. Die. From behind. And level 5. So, and this was um, basically the tutorial. Let's finish this and talk to Makers. And then Never Ember in Neverwinter. So this was it. I hope you enjoy playing a GIS character. Give me your feedback. See you next time.